half. I mean, they made a lot of shots to keep them in the game. So I think it was being tough at the end and kind of closing it out and getting a double-digit win. So they're a really good team, really good offensive team. So I think it was it was really good toughness win for us. It's just, you know, shooting, you know. I just owe it to my teammates for actually for passing, I guess. But, you know, it's not about that. It's about coming out for the win, you know. It's everyone being able to, I don't know, we have like four guys over 20, and then guys off the bench coming in and contributing. You know, it's just all about the win. You guys like playing in games like that, or it's race horse basketball? Yeah, it's fun, and usually, I mean, they're still a really tough team. The San Francisco's a little more grinded out, but they've always had the ability to kind of hit threes. But, um, yeah, it's fun when you can put up some points. Uh, but sometimes it's not, because if you miss a couple shots, you can fall behind if the other team's hot. So, But it's always fun playing against them. Zach, you were open a ton there in that first half. I mean, what was it just working for you? So what, were you seeing something in the defense, or, or what point was that? Um, we were just running our plays. You know, coach designed them, and the defense was just stepping back, so it was open. Chase, what do you think makes the offense click when you have three of you guys that are, that are able to shoot from the outside? Kind of being, I mean, what, what what is the defense looking at in that case? Well, I think they're looking at you know Kyle. Obviously, is I think the best point guard in the country, and he's six six, two hundred twenty pounds. So I think it makes it really tough when you know we're spreading the floor and he's driving because he's either going to get fouled, find one of us, find Cal Davis under the rim, uh, or get a layup. So I think it's when you have shooters, I mean, it's great because you have so much spacing. And, and I mean, the way Zach's shooting, the way Nick's shooting, it, it makes it really tough because then they have to hug even more. And if they fall asleep like Zach did in the first half, he found open spots. So um, I think going small can work in a lot of games. And it has for us. Even last year, I think it worked a little bit. But Zach making a lot of shots helps. Zach, you've known um, for a while that you're playing and you do so much after the season, but has this, have you anticipated this kind of success or does this, th does this success you've been having, does that make that decision harder? Um, yeah, it makes it hard, but, you know, with the whole Mormon thing, you know, you just know it's right. You just know that you need to go and serve. But with the success, you know, it's just more from my teammates giving me the confidence to be able to do it. So I had no idea that I'd be here. What kinds of things have you learned from Coach Rose this year that you can um, take with your um, maybe mental things or things not so physical lessons that you'll be able to? to? Um, I think just being you know positive. You know, being positive going onto the court and then even being off the court, being positive around your teammates and in life. What do you guys take with you now to the sport and Um, you know, I think obviously you, you want to have more two and no stretches than splits. So I think being going two and zero in a week, uh, no matter what conference you're in, is really tough. So I think you know defending the home court uh, really gives us a lot of confidence. But I think we've been on. The, I mean, we were on the road for two straight weeks uh, after before this home stand. So I think our guys are really well prepared. We play well on the road. I think we have you know have an edge. But I mean, there's a lot of stuff we have to work on. So I think uh, we are we have a lot of confidence on the road. You know, after Hawaii, and then you know we had a good win versus Pacific. So I think we're really confident. Chase, you're about the midway point of the regular season now. How would you assess your guys' defense performance thus far this season? Where can you improve? Uh, I think it's been good. Um, I mean, there's some matchups and there's some teams that are just going to score. Like San Francisco, we could have done a better job. Probably held them to you know 70, 75. But when you play an up-tempo you know, team, they're going to score points. Just like us, I'm sure a lot of teams you know, want to hold us. But it's really tough, even in a loss for us, we score about 70, 75 points. So um, I think we need to work on second efforts when the, when the shot's shot, you know, hitting guys and, and no, less off. I think they had a lot of offensive rebounds tonight. So I think second effort plays um, and starting games with a little bit more energy on the defensive end will kind of get our offense going too. Chase, what are your initial thoughts thinking about Gonzaga? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm excited. You know, I think I'd obviously never been up there before last year, and it's a really crazy environment, and I'm sure, you know, they have a bad taste in their mouth from last year, but um, I'm excited. I think I love playing on the road personally, so I think it'll be good, but it'll be kind of a, 
you know, a little shock to some of our younger guys just because the atmosphere is so crazy and they're always a really good team. So uh, I think, you know, some of us have a lot of confidence going in there, but I think, you know, this week we'll have to kind of get mentally prepared for that and how intense it'll be and uh, kind of the emotions that go into that. Zach, are you one of those excited young guys up for your first trip to the county? I'm very excited. <laughs> Sounds fun to me. You know, I, just like Chase, I like playing on the road and you know, going in and making the crowd mad that you're scoring more than them. You know, there's nothing better. And just you know, having trust in these guys and following their example, I feel like we can go in and you know, play our game. Zach, where does your family name come from? Sometimes people are called in the areas where their background is from. <laughs> it's Norwegian. Would you like to go there? Sure. It might be a little cold, but... <laughs> Do you have a preference on where you want to sit? No, not at all. Anything else? All right, we'll go get that.